Hey guys, welcome back to Bonsai Crazy. How you doing? My giant sequoias, yay! They survived. So this is a big shout out to Nigel, Nigel Saunders from the Bonsai Zone. Thanks very much for your advice. I did what you did what you like you suggested. I uh, kept them out of the sun. I brought them actually indoors, and I put them in a propagator, um, a large glass propagator and uh, they survived they've changed their color they've gone from that that dull gray color to a nice green color again um, all apart from that is this bigger one this bigger one seems to have taken a little turn for the worse um, and that's what we're going to do now today um, the tips of these and some branches have gone completely brown so that's telling me that, that the ends have died off so what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to trim this today just to get rid of these 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 brown bits um, and hopefully it will do better and it will spring out everywhere else that is green this year so I'll bring you in closer and I'll show you what I'm going to do all right, so there we go, guys. There, as you can see, this this branch has died all the way back to down here. So, I'm gonna trim that one all the way off, and likewise for this one at the back here, the same's happened there. So, um, this one here has still got a little bit of green. So, I'm actually just gonna trim this and leave a bit of brown on there. And hopefully that won't die back anymore. Um, it looks like giant sequoias have a little bit of dieback going on them with them. So if I can preempt that and not let any more die back. So I'm just going to like this one here. I'm just going to trim that one to there. Leaving a little bit of brown on the ends. So that hopefully it doesn't die back anymore. And I'm going to do that for all of them that have got brown tips. As you can see, look, some of it's some of it's died back, but the rest is is okay. So if I trim that back, to about there, leaving a little bit. Hopefully, nothing else will die back. It won't die back anymore. It really doesn't matter if it it they do die back because there are a lot of a lot of uh, shoots waiting to to jump out. So as you can see, there's a lot of branches there waiting to pop. So one more just there, and there we go. That's that's the first little trim. It's that is only a trim for the dead branches, but. Hopefully now nothing else will die back and then it will start growing again and then I'll take these little ends off later on down the line. Let's pull this one over so you can see this. Now, there's a little bit of die back down here so I'm just going to get rid of, rid of that branch there. Like so. And that's all there is on there. There's a few little dead dead uh, needles, but it's doing all right. So I'll bring this one back over so you can have a, just have a quick look at that. And there we go. So, so there we go, guys. There's my little update on my giant sequoia. I didn't lose them. Yay, they didn't die. 
So thank you, Nigel. That's uh, great advice. And thank you to everyone who gave me some advice on my giant Sequoia. That is fantastic. I'm really well chuffed that they've, they've managed to survive. They were looking very sick. So I'm very pleased that they've, I haven't lost my masterpiece basically. And I can continue with that now for the next few years and, and hopefully they'll grow up and be really strong. Um, as ever, if you like my content and you want to see my bonsai masterpiece, my giant sequoia bonsai masterpiece grow up throughout the years, then please like and subscribe for me. Hitting that like button really does help me out. It really pushes my videos out there and uh, I get a lot more views. So, so please press that like button. And if you really like it, press that subscribe button for me. That'd be fantastic. And uh, like I say, follow my giant sequoia bonsai masterpiece throughout the year so please i'll see you next time guys cheers ta-da